Getting started with focal point. Using selective focus or controlling the depth of field and adding vignettes are all great ways to focus your viewer's eye on the center of interest in your image. They are time-honored skills that professional photographers and image makers have used for over a century. Creating them in the camera at the time the shutter is pressed requires some forethought. You have to remember to do it. It also means you need to understand how to do it, and oftentimes it means using special lenses or filters or lens hoods in order to create that look. Recreating these looks in Photoshop can be difficult and time consuming, and it's often difficult to get looks that are realistic. Focal Point makes it easy. With Focal Point, you can add realistic selective focus control and vignettes to your image after the shot is taken. It gives you the ultimate control over what your viewer looks at. The unique focus bug control feels just like adjusting a lens inside of Photoshop. There's no need to make complicated selections or to learn a bunch of dials. Best of all, there's no need to use or carry expensive selective focus lenses, filters, and hoods. Getting started with Focal Point is easy. First, you'll need to install it. You can do this from either the 30-day trial available on the On1 website or from the full version if you've purchased Focal Point. If you're installing the full version, you'll need to activate it as well. Then go ahead and open your image in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. If Photoshop was open when you installed Focal Point, be sure to restart it. Once your image is open, go ahead and launch Focal Point. The easiest way to launch Focal Point is to go to the On1 menu and select Focal Point from the flyout. If you're on a Photoshop Elements system, you can access it there by going to File and then Automate, or it might be called Automation Tools. Either one will work. Depending on the size of your image and the speed of your computer, it might take Focal Point a few seconds to open up. When it does, you'll see a preview of your image in the middle and control panes on the right-hand side. In the center of the preview, you'll see the focus bug. This is what you'll use to adjust most of the controls inside of Focal Point. The first step is to define the sweet spot. That's the area that's going to stay in focus. We'll do this by positioning the focus bug. You can do that by clicking, dragging, and holding the center of the focus bug and placing it over the center of your subject. Now we'll adjust the size and the rotation of the sweet spot by using the legs that stick out from the focus bug. Just click, hold, and drag on the legs to adjust the size and shape of the sweet spot. You'll see a grid appear to help you see what the size and shape are going to be. Once you get your sweet spot set, it's time to adjust the blur. Do this by starting with the right-hand antenna. The length of the right-hand antenna controls the amount of blur. I'm going to adjust it all the way out to its longest length to 100. You'll see a little transparent tooltip next to the antenna that tells you what the adjustments are. The angle of the right-hand antenna controls the feather. The feather is how hard the edge is between the sweet spot and the bokeh, or the area that's in focus and the area that's out of focus. The higher the feather, the softer the transition. You usually want to have a feather of at least 25. Once you've set the blur amount in the feather, move over to the left-hand antenna to adjust the type of blur. You can control the type of blur with the angle of the left antenna. With the angle all the way at the bottom, it'll be a very smooth, gauzy, and out-of-focus look. As you increase the angle to the top, you'll begin to see more motion. And at the highest setting of 100%, you'll see quite a bit of motion and distortion in the blur areas at the edge of the image. You can also add a little bit of blur to the center of the sweet spot by reducing the length of the left antenna. This is called the bug opacity. If we reduce that just a little bit, you'll see how I can add a softening to the center but have it not be as out of focus as on the outer edge. Once you've adjusted the sweet spot and controlled your blur settings, you can add a vignette by going to the vignette pane. Decreasing the lightness will create a dark vignette. Increasing the lightness will create a brighter vignette. I'm going to add a bit of a dark vignette. I can then control the size of the vignette by adjusting the midpoint in or out. When you've got everything set the way you like, go ahead and press the Apply button and your results will return to a new layer inside of Photoshop. You can learn more about navigating the preview, as well as different bug shapes, the film grain controls, and presets by watching the other movies from the Show Me How menu. You can learn more about your product by checking out the User Guide from the Help menu. It'll open up in your default Adobe Acrobat Reader. 
If you're on a Windows system, make sure you have Acrobat 6 or higher. It's a free download from Adobe.com. You can also check out the built-in video tutorials located in the Show Me How menu. Each product has a welcome screen which will give you basic step-by-step -step instructions on how to get started. If you've turned the welcome screen off, you can open it again by going to Window and selecting Welcome Screen. If you visit the Unwon Software website, you can find more help too. There's examples and tips for most products. There are more video tutorials on the Tutorials page. You can check out the Knowledge Base for frequently asked questions. Visit the user forums to ask questions of other users or sign up for one of our free weekly webinars to learn more one-on-one -on -one with an On One expert. Thanks for watching. If you've already purchased an On One product, thanks. If you haven't, here's some good reasons to buy today. All of our products make Photoshop faster, easier, and better to use. We back our products with a 30-day money-back guarantee. We provide free technical support, online tutorials, and webinars for life, plus free updates. So go ahead and download a free 30-day trial today and get started now.